Topic okay. two. Topic ah, two. choreography what? time. Yes. Thank right. you for reminding so me because I forgot. <laughs> no problem. Okay, let's see if I can. Uh, what a great host I am. My yeah, so if you want to explain this, so this is going to be a moose topic. So if right. you want to explain what you wanted to talk about. Yeah, so I've noticed a lot lately that I may listen to a song and I think, okay, I, nothing's really grabbing my attention right now. I feel like a lot of empty space. It isn't really moving in any direction. There needs to be more. And then when I watch the dance, I'm like, oh, wow. It just takes the song up to the next level. A lot of times a song can really shine through how you move to it and how specific uh dance moves can really i guess expand upon how you feel the song and so there's sometimes like momo lands boom boom i feel like the song is really nice to listen to really catchy but i think what brings it character and what makes it extra catchy is the dance yep. for example i might not be able to pull up the song in my head right now but i remember the dance the great, moves yeah. and then i remember <laughs> the song so i feel yep. like that's that song and dance just really correlates with each other and you need to have the dance and it just really makes it extra amazing and meme-y. Um, yep. I have a few other examples. Do you guys want to all say yours or I could go yep. on? Uh, yeah, we could go We could go each do like one in a row and then circle around. Um, so yeah, so for me, the first one, so this isn't like super popular song, but this is the first thing that came to mind. Well, I mean, it's probably popular, but it's fairly new, um, and that's why it came to mind, was uh, something we talked about in releases last month was Hoya's Angel. Um, I haven't because, seen that. Oh, no. <laughs> so, no, it's fine. But So basically, Hoya uh, left Infinite uh, last year, um, and he debuted uh, as, a, as a solo artist last month. And the song Angel, like, honestly... I can't even remember what the song sounds like, but all I can think of is the choreo because it was with the vocals. His vocals it, were amazing. But his they vocals made him were rap good. All the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like the song was good, but the choreo for the video was just completely insane. Because um, yeah, it was him with a girl, and they were doing like just like traditional, like traditional choreo, like traditional dance. And or not traditional, but like uh, like, (laughs) you're you're not talking about like freaking like not like yeah not traditional as in like like, Korean like hanbok dancing, (laughs) but like traditional like Western dance, I would say. Basically, Um, they were very sexy with each other. Yes, it was like (laughs) traditional R and B type dance stuff. Um, But yeah, it was just like you don't see choreo like that, and you don't see a song that's like that based and focused on its choreo. Um, so that was, like, definitely the first one that came to mind. Right. And to the fans who are about to complain in the comments, actually, I have seen that. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to look it up and see the thumbnail and be like, okay, wait, I've seen that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Going on. Andrew, you want to All right. So when it comes to co- when it comes to choreography, just a preface, like, I kind of, I'm very much into choreography. One, I'm Filipino, so I'm surrounded by dancers, like, literally all the time, like, from birth, like, like at every Filipino event, you have the line dance, even though I don't. Like, everyone's just, like, <laughs> in a freaking dance crew. At one point, I dated a girl that was in a dance crew and everything. So, yeah, I, I take it very seriously, even though I'm not a dancer myself, which might be hip- hypocritical. But this actually wasn't going to be my first one, but um, literally, it, since it just came out, like, it's very much a... Uh, memorable choreography, and that would be Dali by by Hyorin. Like, mm. I don't know if you ended up seeing that, but it's Hyorin's first solo, like, venture into, I guess, like, doing music, and oh my god, the choreography for that is insane. Like, just hearing the song, it just sort of sounds like, okay, it's a pretty standard, fair sort of R&B with trap, trap hi-hats going on in the background, but when you see that choreography, wow. Like, <laughs> I don't really know how to explain it without showing it or, like, showing images of it, but I'm not trying to get taken off YouTube for inappropriate content. <laughs> so, I just, you just have to trust me. If you've seen it, like, you know, like, like the choreography on that is, it's, it, it's not just, um, it's not just, like, really sexy choreography. The choreography is just, like, very well thought out, too. Like, it's just, like... I'd say, like, a K-pop choreography just is, like... I'd say it's only about here, whereas, like, actual, like, choreographers, like, about here. Like, I'd say, like, it's, it's very... um It's very well thought out in that, basically, Hyorin went to L.A. 
like for like I'd say like a couple months just to like practice like uh, like learn under a choreographer just to like prepare for even just doing that music video and this uh, this comeback. So you can tell that there was so much thought put into it, which is why I appreciate the song so much more. Not just because she was like really she looked really amazing in it. <laughs> okay, so all right, I, it's my turn, right? Yeah. Yes. It's your turn. <laughs> okay, so for me, for, for me, uh, mine's gonna be kind of. Uh, different i guess in that uh my first one is uh snsd's genie just because for me that your favorite k-pop that song is literally of all my favorite yes and <laughs> wow dude and it's because that, of the choreo no it's not because of the choreography i just think it like but, makes it that much better and that yeah that's almost that's one of the things that makes it iconic is like um oh yeah you know, definitely the whole thing with like the late dances do it, like, with, yeah <laughs> you <laughs> can't do it with your fingers <laughs> Um, but yeah, everyone knows the little, like dance. For yeah, exactly. Genie. Like like you'll like uh, I remember when we were at uh, the card concert or whatever, and they were like, mm-hmm. uh, I think the charades thing was uh, Sonyoshi Day, so like yeah, Girl yeah. Generation, and like, yep. they they did the it. Was, they uh, were doing it. He yeah. did the genie, uh, you know, the leg dance. So yeah, like even the the stuff with the arms, I can't do it because I can't dance. But yeah, like everything is just like you know the. And, and we're in we're in consensus, right? <laughs> what? That was awesome. We're in uh, consensus though that the the Japanese version, the Japanese music video, is infinitely better than the Korean version, right? Because it's literally it's better, just a dance version, and it it's, it's literally yeah, it's just a dance version. And the Japanese version is just a dance music video, and the and the way the the camera is angled is that like you're looking up at them, like you're not worthy enough to look at love, look up at them. <laughs> yeah. So she. Yeah. She's, <laughs> That's just uh, every, everything about that song is amazing, and that's why I chose it for my first thing. So, yep. all right, I yeah. see. It seems like first round. It's really important to have choreography that's as catchy or as I guess intriguing as the music yeah, in order to yeah. have like a successful big comeback. So my next song is "Baby Don't Stop" by uh, NCT. Is it you yep. or just Taeyong and Ten? It's um, NCT U, uh, but it's only NCT two you. members okay. of right. NCT. Yeah, because yeah. NCT no one knows how it works. any num- any people in NCT. It's fine. Nobody knows what NCT is. No, anyways. we do though. <laughs> they they spent eight hours explaining on Weekly Idol. <laughs> right. Still waiting on NCT Mark. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's what we want. We want NCT Mark, but it's everyone that except Mark. It's everyone oh, in S. Ma- everyone in everyone SM. Everyone in SM. Like, all for Mark. every artist like, in Isu SM. Man, frickin' except Kenzie. Like, oh everyone goodness. except Mark is, 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 is NCT is, Mark. Yep. That would be amazing. Okay, so for Baby Don't Stop, of course, this again comes up with having the catchy move that, you know, creates the catchy song. But yep. with this song, there isn't much melody. Sure, we have the bass going da, 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 but those are like four notes, and we do get some singing, but it doesn't have the thickness or motion that maybe other songs have because like i know sm for being super experimental especially with its thick vocal layering and stuff and so baby don't stop was incredibly uh minimalistic compared to other releases and so if i just listened to the song i'd be like okay there's a bass and there's some sexy you know whispering going on but what really made it for me was the dance (laughs) yeah (laughs) yeah exactly because they hit they go stop baby don't stop and like yeah. it's the specific words that you accent with your voice but along with the choreo that yeah. just makes it so much more hard hitting and especially like during the fast paced rap uh parts they move their you know they move their feet like it like almost teaches you how to listen to the music because you're like okay yeah, yeah, this yeah. is going fast i can get hype or like it can create tension at this one part because they're moving so quickly and then they relax or like they smooth it out here mm-hmm. and i think it just created this whole new experience for the song for me and a lot more interest yep uh so for me uh it's one of my favorite songs from my favorite guy group uh, Lucifer by Shiny. That's number uh, four so, on my list, yo! Okay, <laughs> yep. hit it. <laughs> so yeah, Lucifer, like, you, you listen to it and you're like, this is a catchy song, but it's like lots of auto-tune and like pretty like, <laughs> <One note. laughs> pretty standard guy group song for 2012, 2011, whenever that yeah, was. Yeah, somewhere around 2010 maybe? 10? Yeah, yeah, 2010. <laughs> um, 
So yeah, it was way back then, and that's like what everyone was doing was just like that hype, like auto tune <laughs> pop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's just, yeah. it just like doesn't. But then the choreo for that song is like probably some of the best guy group choreo ever made. Um, it's so intense and just so awesome looking. The arm movement thing that I can't even attempt to recreate. Um, yeah, that's so that's easily one of my favorite songs by shiny and it's all because of the choreo it's also actually one of the songs that got me into shiny because of that music yep. video Same. um Sh- sherlock and lucifer were like the jams man oh yep <laughs> yeah it, um go ahead yeah go ahead oh okay um i want to elaborate on what you were saying because i feel like Lucifer is very much like you said one note and very auto-tune so like sure they layer up voices and pretty crunchy chord but there is mm-hmm. no extremely real big movement until I think it's the chorus so what really helps you f- like feel even more motion and even more variety throughout the entire song is like the subdivision um, in the choreography because they move much faster twice the speed of the actual song and so it creates mm-hmm. like micro beats for you to be like oh my god they're moving so fast and this yep. is happening and like oh my gosh it's so much more complicated than the song actually is so yeah yep. you can finish no yeah yeah that's that's exactly everything I wanted to say about that Andrew alright so the rest of my list is actually again since I very much into choreography. The choreography I end up appreciating, or the, the K-pop songs I end up appreciating aren't necessarily based on just how much I like the choreography, but who did the choreography. So, mm-hmm. that being, like, or obviously that me kind of mean, or with me that means one million, like everything <laughs> one million is going to be on the rest of my list. So, the first one of that would be um, Dr. Pepper, which was uh, a collaboration between Diplo, CL, like, OG makeup, like a bunch Wait. of like other rappers, like friggin' oh god, like so many rappers on this that I, I don't care because I don't listen past there's a, CL's verse. There's a CL I, I can't pop listen song to called song. Dr. Pepper. I have the I have I the playlist in that. like the, the Skype chat if you want to see like the one million music videos. But yeah, like I hated this song so much, mostly because I really don't like well one, I was kinda souring on CL trying to do like American style music, I was kinda bored of it. And two, I just mm-hmm. like I just hated like all the rappers on it because it's so generic. But when I saw this choreography by Mina Myung of uh, One Million, uh, One Million Studios, I was in love not just with the choreography but with Mina Myung. <laughs> but it's it's so well done. Like again, like this is this is why I'm very like if you've been listening to the show, you know I'm very strict when it comes to like choreography and it, even when it comes to like girl groups because I like this is like the high level that I sort of ex- I sort of expect out of everything because it's just inc- like. They do, like, real choreo- or, like, actual, like, choreographers that end up, like, maybe end up teaching uh, K-pop idols, like, they do a very good job of sort of, like, with every syllable, they do some type of motion, and that, that that's the sort of choreography I really like when it comes to, or it sort of ties into the lyrics of the song, which might be harder to discern in K-pop or whatever, but whenever it's English, like, you can sort of, it's, it's easier for me to, like, get, like, the, what they're doing, but, yeah, I really appreciate how, like, yeah, both sort of, like, how they space it out with, like, uh like each syllable and with how it ties into like the theme of the song or like the theme that they're trying to go for it and that's how I can sort of gauge a good choreography is if like it it enhances the song in that sort of way where it tells a story and like I feel like a lot of this choreography that's from one million does that so well and like that's why like, it's it, like pretty much every, all, all choreography is ruined for me at this point just because I <laughs> just because like my expectations are so high now <laughs> all right so yeah, all of mine are going to be, like, just uh, pretty predictable. Uh, my next one is uh, G-Friend's Rough. Yep. I really, really, really love the choreography for this, and it makes oh. it so much better. Like, for um, a lot of the parts where it, where it actually, like, involves a clock, they'll get into the a time clock stuff, formation. Yeah. Yep, and do all like, the time you know, stuff's great. Yeah, exactly. Um, like, every everything about it, like, even with the uh, just the simple stuff where they're, like, stepping in and out and making other members, like, disappear by getting in line, like, right yep. in the beginning. Yeah, I love that move. And, uh, you know, the parts at the end with the using their arms to make clocks and stuff, like, I, I really love that. And I, I, when I listen to the song, I often ended up, like, visualizing the, uh, like, them doing the choreography. Like, this is one of the few songs that actually does that for me. So, yeah, I had to <laughs> put that on my list. Awesome. Yeah, I actually I thought about putting that on my list, and then I was like, 
you know what? I just like this song a lot, regardless. <laughs> the choreo just helps a lot, so I was like, yeah, oh, it's I literally, not really I literally just, I literally just made a list of songs that I thought. Oh yeah, it that makes you like the better. choreo of. Well, yeah, yeah. I, had, I had a little bit of trouble doing this topic just because almost every time there's a new song, I just watch the music video first. So like, mm. it, it's hard for me. To, like, I rarely hear a song just music or just like like just the audio um, before seeing choreo. Um, but yeah, that was definitely one of them that I was like, eh, I just like this song a lot. I don't want to put it on the list, even though the cor- just because the choreo is good. Right. Should we go around one more time or? Oh yeah, I, I have two sure. more. Okay. Um, uh, I have three uh, more. And- Andrew had like eight billion, but I don't have to put those. Are, you, yeah, you could just you, list off all the you one know, million you dance covers. Could, you, all you need to know is that like one million is just like god tier when it comes to choreography. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, mean, I feel like you have to mention their TT cover, but or their TT. It's not. It's, it's not just the cover. Like Leah it's Kim, not a cover. Yeah, it's their Leah her Kim choreo. is basically like yeah. yeah it's it's her yeah, choreo that's what that I, she I teaches misspoke. to them. Yeah, yep. it, 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 like the level that she does the TT choreo was just like insane. Like it's sort of like again, it's it kind of puts like K-pop idols that are like having to sing and dance. Like they they might not be like all dancing machines like Momo to like <laughs> to shave because like it's so. Like there's an intensity that only like actual like real dancers like sort of mm-hmm. get into it. So yeah, it's yep. it's it's amazing. Anyway, right. Uh, Umu. <laughs> yeah, so I was gonna talk about so Romance actually didn't dance, but they had they featured two dancers in their song or music video mm. called Star. I'm not sure have any of you guys seen it? No, I haven't. Okay. Andrew, I think you might like this because this is the I've level seen, of storytelling I, through the dancing. Yeah, we no we we covered this. We covered this on releases. Okay. Okay. If I see it, yeah. Okay, I, I might remember. not I might have just forgotten it. Yeah, oh, it's yep, basically yeah, I know, yep. it's basically like, like, like an interpretive she dance she type of type thing. Again. And not only was it yep. like a romance comeback after like a yep. long ass time, it like had an amazing like again, that amazing like storytelling yeah, it's like interpretive through, like, the dance. body. Yeah. yeah, interpretive dance music. It's basically it's something that like Keone and Marie would do. Like I don't know if anyone knows who those like they do a lot of choreography for BTS and mm-hmm. all that sort of stuff. But like and they were on World of Dance, which is like an American TV show. So like yeah, they're they're, they're incredible and like they're basically sort of set the standard for when it comes to like couple like choreography. But anyway, not to steal your not to steal your no, song. No, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, but since you kind of already covered the subject of telling a story through like two people dancing together um i was going to move on and actually talk about a different song um 17's thanks um so fans have already told me that thanks choreography incorporates the sign language for thanks in korean and so i think that's of course that's an amazing thing to have to actually have language incorporated into your moving but what i what really stood about what really stood out to me about this choreography was switching off between members and I almost began to think because I'm I'm an ex-synchronized swimmer and we have these things called cadences where mm. a person would do a certain move and then it would just mm-hmm. continue on and so yeah. I saw a lot of that happening in this song and I thought it just not only can you add color through how you hit and do certain movements but you can also do that with patterns and specific people standing out in those patterns so like there's this time in the thanks where i think it's it's during the pre-chorus or is yeah yeah yeah, pre-chorus and they have like a a member leap up and then go down and then leap up and then go down and i thought it was the most gorgeous thing because not only can you play with space this way and up and Mm -hmm. down but you can also you know you just really can play with dimensions and add this whole new i'm repeating myself but yeah it's just just amazing (laughs) (laughs) yeah uh yeah it's not on my list but i want to add like that and don't want to cry together mm-hmm. like because they do a lot of the same things but thanks so we dramatic. talked about it yeah. when we we talked about it in releases like thanks is literally just the sequel to don't want to cry mm-hmm. and yeah both both of them do a lot of similar things in choreo as well as the song being similar um but they're my two favorite 17 songs so uh i'm okay with that uh next on my list is uh this is a fun one um because releases when i first listened to it i was like i don't like the song but then I liked it more. I've listened to it and now I love it. Is uh, Elris's Pow Pow. Mm. Yes. <laughs> love his volcano. <laughs> the volcano, <laughs> the volcano <laughs> moves and stuff. No. <laughs> um, yeah, the pow and just everything about the choreo and just like the fun MV uh, really made that song stand out to me a lot more than I think it would have having not having just listened to the song. 
Right. I was really, really glad that song turned out well because I'd been like following yeah. uh, both so Sohi he. and Kadin from that group since uh, K-pop star. So mm-hmm. like I was, I was, I was really hoping that group was good because they both deserve to be successful. So they're both really talented. On um, K-pop star, so look up their clips, viewers. Yep. Mm. I'm trying to figure out which one I want to go with next. <laughs> what uh, other one million songs? Yeah, because yeah, I, I looked at your songs. I looked at your list and there's like forty. I was like, yeah, like, oh, more it's than like fifteen, th- but like three quarters of them are just like all. Oh, here, here. I, I kind of already mentioned um, Keone Madrid. Oh God, the the sound just started playing. Um, I just I as I previously mentioned Keone Madrid again. He was the one that he works a lot with BTS and Seventeen and a lot of like K-pop groups when it comes to choreography. It's it's really cool how like we um there's like a really big scene on the West Coast of like choreographers that sort of like they make a living on YouTube or teach or like they're teaching classes and that sort of thing. It's really cool how K-pop sort of. Um, started to reach out to all of these, like even some of them are even non-Korean, like all of these American um, choreographers to like do like K-pop songs because like, all, all of their specialties are like hip hop and all this sort of like really like Western style music. So only natural that they do it. And I guess the song I want to highlight in particular would be the choreography to Fire by BTS, which was again. It's not really a song that I didn't see the choreography to uh, before I saw it, but when I found out that Keone Madrid did the choreography to this, you kidding me? Like he's, like again, he's again, he's very much the master of just again, like very like isos and just like making everything fit with each word and like being very expressive with, um, like the, the storytelling of the dance. So it's so, like it's so incredible, and I feel like. Fire, like, it being such a hype song with, like, a hype-ass, like, backing track and everything, it wouldn't have worked if the choreography didn't work. It would not have worked at all. So, again, for them to go to somebody like Kuni Madrid, yeah. who's basically an expert, he's basically made, like, a living off of these, like, really, like, hype hip-hop songs. Like, if you want to look up good choreography, look up his choreography to um, Manolo, you know, like, the song that... All I or all I do is for the turn up or something like that, and basically like his choreography is insane. So yeah, just look look into that if you want to look at good choreography from uh, someone that did, worked on K-pop before. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this one uh, is definitely is um is definitely one that made the song much better for me. Is uh, one of ones uh, energetic like the choreography mm-hmm. for that is amazing. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like when when they I love it when they uh build stuff like out of like people in the, uh yeah, like the piano. Like the piano. That, was, that blew me away as soon as I saw it. And I'm not even like a huge choreography person. I was like that is amazing. Yep. Like and the, even even the song on top of that was already like super super catchy, but like yeah, the the choreography really really makes that song, especially during performances. We we nominated we nominated Energetic for best choreography, right? So I, I think I did actually. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we definitely did. So <laughs> What? I don't even remember what one. won. Did Dreamcatcher win? I, think I Dream- forget. Yeah, no, I know I you guys. I know you guys enough. freaking outranked remember. me with uh, the our award ceremony, so it probably didn't win. <laughs> 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 okay, are we going around one more time? Um, yeah, if you have one, I, I feel like I'm good. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, n- if you don't have anyone, nope. don't. Okay. I've basically we've all talked yeah, about all we've of discussed my about. choices. Okay, Cart. I have two quick ones. Um, so one I was stole. I'm stealing kind of from Andrew's list because it made me remember it, which is horrible for me. Um, but really, I mean, it's not. It's not that the choreo made it good. It's just the choreo was so good for the song. Is uh, I wise no 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 no. Ah, super catchy. Yeah, the, the, yeah. it's so catchy. <laughs> the choreo is just so good for that song. Um. And watching JYP teach it to them was hilarious. And again, so. Leah Kim again. Leah Kim is just again. Yeah, yeah. Like literally, like her, the way she moves her body is ridiculous. Like I don't know, she's not human. She is not human. Like the way she's <laughs> able to ISO, like it, it scares me. It's just like, what do you have? She's like her bones are made of jelly or something. It's so creepy, but so yeah. amazing at the same time. <laughs> um, and my last one is my. So my second favorite member, the favorite song of my second favorite member of my favorite guy group, which is <laughs> Taman's Move. Taman's uh, Move is uh, yes. oh, just yes. like insane, yeah. and I love that everything about that. You can um, mention Gashina too, since that kind of goes yeah. with it. Yeah, yeah, as well. Um, Sunbees, 
Uh, Gashina was also Again, a very that was very a song good. another song that just became iconic uh, with a uh, dance energetic yeah, one uh, okay we split choreo I'm I'm looking we split choreo into choreo. male and female and energetic one male choreo and chase me by dreamcatcher one female choreo so mm. okay that's we good good right. and then Sunmi's Gashina one solo duo co-ed choreo <laughs> so. Nice. We basically made a category so that we could give... Oh, wait. No, that wasn't card. card. Yeah. Well, no. We made best solo co-ed... Solo best duo, solo duo co-ed, co-ed group. Just so, so we could so give, we card, could give card More awards, because they won, like, three awards, because we love card. <laughs> All right. I, I'm, I'm good. Jacob, do you have anything else, or...? Uh, I got one more. Um, this one is, uh, it's another one where they build, like, things out of people, is, uh, 2PM's, uh, Go Crazy. Um. Like, in the beginning, they all, like, roll over and then make a giant motorcycle. Like, that is also one of my, like, most memorable, uh, like, K-pop, uh, choreographies. Also, because that song is hype. Oh and ADDOY, because of the chair stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You stand on chairs, being sexy and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you mean Roland by Brave Girls? <laughs> Roland That's by another Brave one, Girls. except they oh, fell off no. one time. Oh, no. <laughs> Just one of them fell off once. Oh, like, no. It was, play- it was really <laughs> but it bad. But it looked really bad. Yeah, it made really a really bad, bad like, sound. Well, like we, but she got up and she was fine. As soon as we saw the choreography, we are like, somebody's going to fall, fall off, off these those chairs. Yeah. Well, because they they, they're wearing, like, stilettos. Yeah. Like, what do you expect? They have to get onto a chair and dance on a really small chair and heels like one of them yeah. is gonna fall off at some point yeah oh and just oh, one dangerous. quick one since the video actually started playing um cactus by ace just because it's literally Ooh, it's literally they pants. made they made a rave hot song pants. into choreography so <laughs> yeah, and in the in the shorts so yeah iconic stupid hot very pants. true I thought this was uh, actually a really good way to start out the album because, uh, like, I was expecting it to be kind of hype, like Hey Mama was, but uh, most of the songs sort of like follow this like chill route. So uh, yeah, I, I liked it. It was a nice slow groove and uh, sort of you know more R and B. So yeah, I liked it. I liked it a lot. 